Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to this week's video blog. My name is Robert Rico. Again, Robert Rico, California Realty Training, hoping to bring some good stuff to you. Listen, we are more than happy to bring this stuff to you. All you got to do is take a piece of it, and if that one piece makes you better, you're welcome, huh? Yeah, you're welcome. So listen, today's topic is going to be a pretty darn good one also. You as a new agent are going to go into this field like, whoa, what are, you know, what do I get myself into? What does all these terms mean? What is this contract? What is all this stuff? Oh my God, did I do the right thing? You did do the right thing. You just got to relax. And one of the things you're probably going to say is, oh my God, what, what is this thing? I'm here there. I'm, I'm hearing this thing called contingencies. Oh my God, what is it? I don't know what it is. What do I do? How do I do it? Is it beneficial to my client? Is it not beneficial to my client? Contingencies, contingencies, contingencies. Listen, contingencies. That's a big, that's a big deal. And it's rather simple to understand. Ready? Here it goes. I'm going to make it as simple as possible because there's a lot of textbooks and the contracts themselves from CAR, California Association of Realtor Contracts, all right, have all these terminologies in the, in the offers and you're going to think, oh my God, what do, should I explain this to my client? Should I not? Well, you might want to understand it. Got it? You might want to understand it, but it's rather simple. Ready? Because I'm going, to, I'm going to paint a very simple picture. Here it goes. What is a contingency? Ready? Here it goes. You got a buyer. You got a seller. Buyer says to the seller, hey, seller, how you doing? I'm going to make you $1 million offer just the way you like it. The seller takes the offer. The seller reviews the offer. Offer is just the way he likes it, a million dollars. But there's a few contingencies in there. Now, what does that mean? The buyer over here said, I'll give you a million bucks. Yeah, I'll give you a million dollars, but I want my contingencies intact. My contingencies intact. This is the deal. I call these contingencies, ready? Wait for it. I call them only ifs. I call them only ifs. Hey, I'll buy your house for a million bucks only if. I'll buy your house for a million bucks only if. I'll buy your house for a million bucks only if. Only if what? Ready? Here it goes. I'll buy your house only if it passes the appraisal. It appraises at a million dollars. That's called the appraisal contingency. Is you with me? Hey, I'll buy your house only if it passes my inspections. Guide it. What should we call that? <laughs> of course, inspection contingency. Hey, I'll buy your house only if. Hell, I can get a loan. What do we call that? It's called a loan contingency. You with me? So the, the buyer is saying, hey, listen, sure, I'll give you a million bucks. Absolutely. But there's a few things I have as a safety net. I want to make sure to praise that a million bucks. I want to make sure I can get a loan for this house. And last but not least, I want to make sure it passes my inspections. Now, if it passes all those three, now there are a couple of other contingencies, but those are the three biggest, most important ones. And if it passes all of my only ifs, which in my opinion equals contingencies, the buyer says, I am good to go. Now, the question is here. Part two of the question is, how long do these contingencies last? How long are these safety nets in place? How long are the only ifs available to the buyer? Ready? Here it goes. And it's very simple. And it's, it's by default. By default on the contract. The appraisal contingency must be done within 17 days. The buyer must remove that on the 17th day. The inspection contingency the buyer must remove that contingency. The buyer must remove that safety net on day 17. And when it comes to the loan contingency, the buyer must remove that. It is now 21 days for the loan contingency. So let's review that real quick. Appraisal contingency, 17 days. Inspection contingency, 17 days. Loan contingency, 21 days. Got it? Good. And that's how it works. Now, once the buyer removes them and says, all right, Mr. Seller, I'll give you the million bucks, and it passed my appraisal, and it passed my inspection, and it passed my loan contingency. I was able to put all those things in play, and I'm good to go. The buyer says, I'm so happy, and I'm so ready to rock and roll this house. I'm going to remove my safety nets. The appraisal contingency, the loan contingency, the inspection contingency are no longer needed by me, the buyer. So take them off. You know how I'm going to take them off? I'm going to sign off and saying I remove my contingencies. The buyer's going to say, I'm going to remove my contingencies. I'm going to sign here what's called removal of contingencies. He removes them on this piece of paper here, and the buyer now has no safety net. It's the point of no return. All the only ifs have been passed. The price was good. The seller is happy. The buyer is happy. It's a beautiful day, and it's all done. Contingencies. Is it important? Yeah. Why? Because the buyer has some safety nets in place. Is it important? Yes. Quick example. Ready? Quick example. Buyer says, I'll give you a million bucks, and he loves his house, and you can see this house, you know, you can see himself and his family in this house for the next 30 years. Don't forget the only ifs. He has the only ifs of inspection. He goes in the house, hires an inspector. Inspector goes in the house, inspector inspects the house, inspector comes back with the report. What should we call that report? Hello? Yeah, inspection report. Comes back with the inspection report. 
gives it to the buyer and looks at the buyers in the eyes, looks at the buyer in the eyes and says, if I were you, I wouldn't buy this house. This house is about to fall apart. The buyer, because he had the inspection contingency in play, can cancel and request his deposit back. It's as simple as that. It didn't pass the only if. It didn't pass the contingency. Make sense? These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, things for the buyer to have in play. Got it? Good. Hope you understand how that works now. Listen, don't let it bombard you. It's very simple. It's an only if by the buyer. It's a, I want my safety net by the buyer. However, you cannot have that safety net forever. 